And if y'all need good and reliable thumbnails for a cheap price, hit him my boy Pookie on Twitter. He's on the come up and he is a demon at what he does, but his link is going to be the first one in the description. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Yeah. What's going on to you, boys? It's your boy GB3. Back into the video, bro. Damn, I got a fat pimple on my forehead. <laughs> All right, bro. So I'm guessing you came to this video because you want to learn how to add a green light effect to your videos using Sony Vegas. Not using After Effects, not Final Cut Pro, using Sony Vegas. So this tutorial, it's going to be fairly short and it should be fairly easy if you follow the steps. Like I have a preset already that I, that I use for this green light effect and I'll show you what it looks like. But if this video does help you out, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe because we are trying to hit this big 1K and we're trying to get my watch hours up to 4,000 so I can get monetized. So without further ado, let me just hop straight into the video and show you how to do this. All right, y'all, so now that we're in Sony Vegas, the first thing you want to make sure you have is Sapphire plugins. So Sapphire plugins are these like plugins on the side. So you see how it says S underscore swish. Well, I can't even say swish pan or S underscore shake. You want to make sure that you have these plugins so that way you can actually apply this effect to the, to the clip. So I'm gonna just play the clip out without the effects added at all, and I'll show you what it looks like before and after. Okay, so my guy, this is a really old clip. So I'm dribbling up the court, doing my do, cooking up, you know, you see me, okay? Killing kids, okay? Curry slide, okay? And I green the shot, so no effect whatsoever. So that's what it looks like without the effect, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the effect. So when I added the effect, this is what it looks like. So I'm dribbling, I'm doing my do, doing my do, cooking up, you see me, okay? Okay, you know, dribble guide. I shoot the ball, green, bam. So. That's not the only way it can look. So like, of course that looks pretty cool. Like you see the like flash is green. That, that's one way you can do it. I'm gonna show y'all multiple ways you can make it look. All right, so the first thing you wanna do when actually applying or before applying the actual plugin, what you wanna do is go to the part where your player, as soon as he greens a shot, you can do it as soon as he greens a shot or as soon as the ball goes into the basket. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to that, to that clip, I guess, or to that, to that moment in the clip and just press s and it splits the clip so you want to split the clip wherever you he either green the shot so people could do it you could do it like right i don't know right there when he green the shot or as soon as the basket goes in so i do it as soon as the ball goes in the basket you can do it any way you want but that's the first thing you want to do the second step you want to do is make sure you have those plugins the sapphire plugins and the only plugin you need literally the only plugin you need is this plugin right here s glow edges so if you don't know how to find it once you install all the plugins, they'll be on the side. You just keep scrolling down until you see glow edges and it's right there. And so I already have a preset for it. It's not gonna say green right there because that's like the preset I made. But all you wanna do is drag default one there or you wanna drag default one to the clip. So drag it onto there, right there. And you see how it's like white, like the edges are white. So what glow edges does is it makes every, I guess, edge glow, like it's self-explanatory. So I'll show you what it looks like without like me messing with it. So look there so it just it makes everything like glow white you see that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it like glow green and i'm gonna show you how you can like change it to your own liking of like how much green you want and like just make it that way how you want it so the first thing you want to do is you gonna click this little f this f button and that's gonna bring up this so what this is this is like um this controls what that plugin does so like the brightness you see it makes it brighter makes it makes it not brighter or the glow width it makes it like spread out more or it makes it like more condensed so what you want to do is you want to change the color to green of course you could change it to red if you want to but look for green let's make it bright green and now what you want to do is you want to click this little button right here and so this is the animate button so what this does all these have it is it allows you to um control how long you want the effect to last for so we're gonna affect how long the glow lasts for so we want the glow to last for like a second and that's it so all you want to do is click this little button right here animate and it's gonna bring up this so don't get overwhelmed it's not hard it's completely easy so what this is this is like a timeline so this timeline it shows you okay right now the effect is gonna last all the way until the end of the clip that's what that timeline is saying right now so let's say we, let's say we wanted the glow to end right here. So what we want to do is change the glow brightness down, turn it all the way down. So now you see on the timeline, it's like it starts from right here where we wanted it to. And then over time, as you see, it goes down and it fades out. That's really, that's really it. So look, once I play the clip right now, look, this is what it's going to look like. Easy as that. I mean, you can change it how you want to look. So like you could change the glow width. So 
if I turn the glow width all the way up or let's put it like right there, it's going to look different. So see, it looks a little bit different. Or if I wanted it to be brighter at the beginning, I could just double click this, turn the brightness up and now look, it's going to look like that. Or like, like I said, if you want to change the glow width up, oh, let's turn it down a little bit. It's going to like make it like more onto the players, if that makes sense. So like this. And so if that's too long for you, like if you don't want it to fade out, um, what is this, like three seconds later, you can just change this. So you can just drag this point right here. Let's say it's put it right there. So now it's going to be like a quick flash. So let's play it. Flash. Simple. So if I want it to be longer, if I wanted to like drag out, I could put it out there. Look, see the effect lasts longer. So that's really it. I mean, it's pretty, pretty easy to do. So. I mean, I like to keep mine like this. Like, I keep it like this. This is just me. So, looks like that every time I green the shot. And so, like, you could add in a, a sound effect. So, I just had this ding effect. And I don't know if y'all can even hear it, but, like, it makes this little dinging noise every time I green the shot. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but that's really it. That's really it. If you know that you're going to use this effect a lot, like I do, I have a whole preset for it. So, I'm going to just go ahead and show you how to save a preset. It's really easy. So, like, every time you green a shot, you can just easily add it very simple so what you want to do is you want to click that little f button again and here's a here's a like plugin uh settings so what you want to click is this little f and like a plus button you just want to click that and so once you click that it's going to bring up oh here's, here's all my like plugins so like i have my basic text plugin my green plugin text all that so what you want to do now is click save as and then you just want to save it so let's put green uh effect Okay, and so right there, green effect. So every time I wanna add the effect, it's gonna be right there, the preset. So I'm gonna show you how to get to that screen again. So, whoa, with a glitch. So I remove, I just removed the um, effect from the video, so it looks normal. So let's say I wanted to add that little preset again, I just click the F, and it's gonna be right there, green effect. Now I'm gonna double click it, click add, okay, exit out, and look, bow, it's right there. It's really easy, so. It saves a lot of time <laughs> um, having to go read through or redo all the settings all over again. You can just easily click that little F, put in the plugin, bow, simple. So that's really it. Mm, I really explained how to just add the green light effect. Um, it's pretty easy, really simple, like I showed you, like a quick little five minute video. Um, I might drop more tutorials on this stuff because I am trying to grow. And eventually I will start transitioning back into 2K. But for now, it seems like my channel is pulling a lot of uh, editing viewers. So I'm going to keep doing that. So I'm going to keep posting like uh, tutorials on like editing and Photoshop and all that. So that's really it. So if you did like the video, please drop a like and subscribe. Or if it helped you out, please just help me out too. Because I am trying to grow as a YouTuber. I am trying to get monetized within the 12 month period. So I really am grinding really hard. I do stream on Twitch. I do play 2K. I do play my team. I have played Park. I am good. But I mean, that's really it for this video, y'all. So like I said, it's me, your boy, GP3, and we out, y'all. Peace.